One of the most majestic creatures in the world, but also one of the most curvaceous, elephants are beefy boys if we ever did see one. But some elephants make the regular ones look like skinny minis. These are the 20 biggest elephants in the world. Number 20. World's Biggest Elephant in Tanzania Now, I know that you, if you are anything like me that is, have spent many, many hours of your life pondering the question of where in the world the biggest elephant might be. But the wait is finally over. You can call off the search, and we can finally rest easy because someone somewhere thinks that maybe they have found it. Now, I know that this is not up to the usual standards of world record-breaking clipboard clutching, Guinness people measuring techniques, and I know the fancy banana is usually way more precise than all of this, but apparently someone on the internet has seen a really big elephant, and we figured that you would want to know all about it as soon as possible. because who doesn't want to see a massive elephant? This elephant that was apparently spotted in Tanzania is said to weigh in at 17,637 pounds, which is an estimated 8,000 kilos because I don't think that anyone has actually asked the creature to step on a scale. Previously, they allege that the heaviest elephant had lived in Angola and had been a staggering 11,000 kilos, which is 24,251 pounds absurdly big. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. One of the biggest elephants in the world is one that was found in Nigeria back in the 1950s. The image is an artist's mock-up based on claims that were written in old documents showcasing quite how big it was thought to be. According to the diary entries that were found, an entire village had flocked to see it, and that's totally understandable. I'd want to go see an elephant if it looked like this as well. Imagine riding the thing. You'd feel like you were on top of the world. No elephant quite at this scale has ever been found, suggesting that he may have been something of a one-off. Why he got to such a big size is unknown. Was it genetics? A good diet? It is a mystery, but as always, you can comment down below using the hashtag SweetTopic and let me know what you think about what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. African Bush Elephant The African Bush Elephant also goes by the name of the African Savannah Elephant, but it's not the same as the Forest Elephant. I know it's a lot to take in, but we're all learning together today now, aren't we? Although, for the longest time it was believed there was just one species of the African elephant, there are in fact two, the African forest elephant and the African savanna. These two species are indeed closely related, though. The African savanna elephant is the largest land animal in the world, and they're apparently twice the size of their closest relatives. They also have thicker tusks that have larger curves at the end, and their ears are considered to be more triangular in shape. These differences may be hard to tell unless they're compared next to each other, and then you'll have to ask them very politely if they wouldn't mind you messing about with their ears. Growing to be about 13 feet tall and weighing in at a colossal two and a half to even seven tons, elephants are the strongest of all land animals, and not much can survive their tree-felling strength. Even a lion can be overcome by a stampeding elephant. But it seems as though the elephant's best defense is using its brain power, working together to protect the entire herd, and elephant's experience can literally save their lives. Despite the African elephant's incredible significance and enormous popularity, these animals still remain a risk of execution. They're classified as being critically endangered, meaning that if things continue to go the way they are, there will be no more wild elephants for future generations to see. And not only that, these extraordinary animals are a keystone species species, which basically means that their habits and behavior are essential for the ecosystem, from helping to spread seeds so that plants will grow, to digging and creating watering holes, the African elephant is doing some vital work. Number 18. Jumbo 
Next up we have an elephant that was probably the first to have any kind of celebrity status, and that would be Jumbo. Jumbo the Elephant was actually a total superstar within his time. He was the main exhibit at the London Zoo back in the late 1800s, which was a pretty significant role back then. But in 1882, he would be purchased from the London Zoo by one P.T. Barnum. That's right, the American circus showman and jumbo star rose even higher. When the elephant arrived in New York, he would be greeted by a crowd of 10,000 people, all eager to witness the marvelous, famous animal firsthand. He was a very large elephant indeed, measuring over 11 feet tall and weighing 6 tons, and became known as the largest elephant in captivity. As the show animal, Jumbo was massively popular, he was gentle and intelligent, as most elephants tend to be, and he had a very close bonding with his keeper. When Jumbo was given his name, it actually had no association with his size whatsoever. It is actually Jumbo the Elephant that gave the meaning that we understand the word Jumbo as being today, because he was so large. Nowadays, Jumbo is a synonym for enormous, all because of this particular elephant. His life would be cut short under tragic circumstances when he was hit by a train in 1885 in Ontario, Canada. He was mourned by people all over the world. Number 17. The Columbian Mammoth the Colombian mammoth was a fairly sizable prehistoric creature that roamed North America during a time about 1.5 million to 10,000 years ago. It was one of the largest and most iconic members of the mammoth family, closely related to the more well-known woolly mammoth. Colombian mammoths were immense, and it seems that they could measure up to 14 feet tall at the shoulders and weigh as much as 10 tons. They had long, bent tusks that could reach up to 16 feet in length, and their shaggy brownish hair was all about insulation and kept them cozy in the colder northern regions that they inhabited. These mammoths were herbivores and mostly fed on grasses and other vegetation. They were well adapted to the diverse environments of North America, ranging from grasslands to forests. In recent times, the fossilized remains of Colombian mammoths have been discovered all across the Las Vegas Formation at Tule Springs Fossil Bed National Monument. The first one was discovered there in 1903, and the fossils of these mammoths do make up about 22% of the fossilized remains. Through the research at this location, along with others, it has been established that the Colombian mammoth, like many megafauna of that era, faced extinction at the end, likely due to a combination of climate change and human hunting. Number 16. Deinotherium Deinotherium is an extinct species of prehistoric mammals that lived to be around 23 to 5 million years ago. As much and these creatures were part of an elephant family tree but had several distinctive features which made them pretty different to the modern-day elephant. In fact, they were so different from any other elephant-like creatures that every scientist thought that they were the relatives of tapirs or sea cows. One of the most differentiating features was its downward-curving tusk. Unlike modern elephants, which have tusks that grow upward and outward, their tusks were curved downward from their lower jaw. This particular adaptation would allow them to use their tusks for stripping leaves, bark, and other vegetation from trees and shrubs. These creatures were truly massive, and it's believed that some species could be up to 13 feet at the shoulder. Fossil evidence would suggest that they were pretty widespread, with fossils being found in Africa, Eurasia, and parts of North America. They likely thrived on a variety of habitats, from savannas to forests. Although nobody knows for sure the exact reason for their extinction, factors like climate change and shifting in vegetation likely played a significant role in their decline. Number 15. Black Diamond Back in 1929, the circus came to Corsicana, Texas. The town was in the last days of the oil boom that it had been enjoying since the beginning of the century, and the population, well, they were at an all-time high. The circus was still pretty big and exciting in that era, and when it rolled into town, that was still reasonably interesting. Enough movies and radio had begun to fill up a lot of the entertainment void, and people came from miles around to see the circus in Corsicana. This particular circus had one very special attraction, it was a herd of elephants. 
The circus paraded right through the downtown area and thousands of people stood to watch the spectacle. One especially large elephant named Black Diamond had his tusks sawed down and was wearing an iron bar to restrict his use of them. He also wore chains and shackles to keep him under control, so it was clear that the circus people knew the elephant could be dangerous. In fact, he had three people already, although that fact was being kept quiet. But anyways, you can probably see where it's all going. Black Diamond got free from his handlers, knocked a woman to the ground, dragging her across the street, and caused a lot of injury. She would soon be pronounced Naturally, people were horrified and they blamed the elephant. Now, it should be noted here that we are so very fond of these beautiful creatures that we've neglected to remember that an angry elephant can squash a person in an instant and there's not a whole lot that anybody can do about it. Elephants are generally peace-loving creatures, providing that you leave them alone and they aren't made to feel threatened in any kind of way. Except, also, the males can be super aggressive when they are in the season of busting out their most macho moves for gaining their spot in the hierarchy and charming the ladies. Any males meeting with other males during that time are likely to begin a fight, and they're so pumped up with all their hormones that they just can't help it. So the circus kind of didn't take any of that stuff into account and paraded an elephant around that was known to have some issues. The town essentially sentenced the animal to and he was summarily executed by firing squad. It took somewhere between 50 to 170 rounds, and then the elephant finally succumbed. It's absolutely horrific. Number 14, the Asian elephant. The Asian elephant is one of the most revered animals in Asia and across the world in general. In many Asian cultures, the elephant symbolizes wisdom, strength, and sometimes they even have divine significance. They've played important roles in religious ceremonies, cultural festivals, and as working animals all throughout history. Asian elephants have large and gray bodies with long trunks, and in some cases, small and rounded ears. The males tend to be larger and heavier than the females, and they're super social animals with pretty complex family structures of tight-knit groups that are led by a matriarch. These elephants are really smart as well. Their brains are bigger than any other land animal on the entire planet, and they alone weigh 11 pounds. Asian elephants are herbivores, feeding on a diet of grasses, leaves, fruits, and bark, and their massive size and strength make them important ecological engineers of their habitats, helping to shape and maintain forests and grasslands. These days, despite our professed love for elephants in general, Asian elephants face tons of different threats in the wild, all of which are caused by bad human behavior. Habitat loss due to deforestation and human development, poaching for ivory and other body parts, and conflicts with humans over resources and space. Number 13. Sri Lankan Elephant The Sri Lankan elephant is also sometimes known as the Ceylon elephant and is a subspecies of the Asian elephant that's native to the island nation of Sri Lanka off the southern coast of India. Sri Lankan elephants are the largest and darkest of all Asian elephant subspecies. They typically have a chunky build, with males sporting fairly fancy tusks, while females generally have the shorter ones or even none at all. All throughout history, these elephants have been intertwined with the island's culture and religion. They've been featured in traditional ceremonies, parades, and even as symbols of Sri Lankan identity. However, the population of Sri Lankan elephants has been steadily declining due to habitat loss, human-elephant conflicts, and poaching for their ivory. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the elephants, and national parks and protected areas in Sri Lanka provide some important habitats for them. These extraordinary animals are a keystone species, which basically means that their habits and behavior are essential for the ecosystem, from helping to spread seeds so that plants will grow, to digging in order to create watering holes, the elephant is doing some vital work. If it ceases to exist, then their entire habitat and everything that lives there will end up suffering too. Number 12. Straight-Tusked Elephants Another extinct species, 
Well, actually, the term encompasses loads of different extinct species of elephants. These straight-tusked elephants were seemingly the largest ever land mammals, but the sheer number of different remains that have been found means that nobody is quite yet sure how many species we might be talking about. These mighty beasts are said to have existed all throughout Africa, Europe, and Asia within the last million years. They're generally thought to have lived 2.5 million to 11,700 years ago. They were colossal, sometimes as tall as 15 feet and as weighty as 14 tons, which is twice as heavy as an African elephant. These prehistoric elephants definitely encountered humans towards the ending of their existence. They still lived 21,000 years ago, and there's plenty of evidence that they were indeed a food source for humans back then. Number 11. Soteo this elephant was famous for being one of the largest African elephants in Kenya. Soteo was a tusker, so-called because he had such long tusks that they almost touched the ground. He met a tragic ending when killed by poachers in 2014. Soteo had lived inside of an East National Park in Kenya, and this was one of the largest wildlife parks in the world, having an extremely sizable population of elephants. Although records were not kept of such things, it's believed that this elephant was born in the late 1960s and was at least 45 years old when he was killed with a poison arrow. His massive tusks had made him unusual, but also ultimately made him a target for poachers because of the black market in elephant ivory. Ivory sells for many thousands of dollars per kilo in Asia, and it's a hideous and illegal trade that's used by organized crime groups as a way of uh, funding rebellions in Africa. Despite him being under almost constant surveillance by park rangers, on the account of his at-risk status, they had ultimately not been able to protect him, and he was killed in 2014, his tusks then being cut off by poachers, and arrests were made. Number 10. Temple Elephant Rahman in India, many temples keep a captive elephant. This is because they're seen as divine creatures that can bestow things upon the faithful, and also they're used in many ceremonies and festivals. These animals are captive, naturally, meaning that they're not without a certain amount of controversy. So here we are in India, where elephants are frequently used in festivals. This particular temple elephant has a very long and unpronounceable name, which is mercifully shortened to Rahman. He's also got another equally long name that translates to the only emperor, so that's what we'll call him. He's alleged to be the tallest living captive elephant, measuring in at 10 and a half feet tall. Rahman is also known to be partially blind, but despite the temple insisting that he is well treated, the controversy that surrounds these animals means that he is sometimes banned from being displayed. Number 9. The Woolly Mammoth Despite plenty of attempts to convince people that woolly mammoths still wander around the earth, there are some intensely grainy and decidedly fishy looking videos out there. We may be closer to seeing these colossal creatures again. I mean, seriously. Scientists are working on ways to recreate the extinct animal. Sometimes you just have to wonder if people have forgotten all about Jurassic Park and how all that went down. The idea of bringing back a long extinct species is actually something that seems to excite a whole lot of people. And there are, in fact, a whole bunch of scientists who are dedicated to doing exactly that. The incredible advancements and in understanding of genes and genetic sequencing that have happened in recent years have made what once seemed insanely possible now only a matter of time. The woolly mammoth is up there at the top of the resurrection list. This creature is especially likely to have found its way back to life because of how much the mammoth's genetics are shared with the modern-day Asian elephant. So when you add this to the remarkably well-preserved remains of woolly mammoths that have been discovered, the science of rebuilding these Ice Age giants is almost there. And you may never know, you could open your curtains one morning to see a surprise woolly mammoth wander by. Number 8. The Steppe Mountain Another point, another mammoth, but this time we're taking a look at the Steppe Mammoth. It was a prehistoric elephant said to have roamed the earth during roughly 600,000 to 370,000 years ago. These mammoths are of a massive size, with some individuals reaching heights of up to 16 feet. They had long and curved tusks that could grow to be tens of feet in length, 
and these tusks were likely used for various purposes, which included digging for food and water, defending against predators, and perhaps even showing off their best sexy moves during mating rituals. One of the remarkable features of these mammoths was their ability to survive in harsh and cold environments, including the vast grasslands of the Eurasian steppe. Their shaggy coats would help them to withstand insanely cold temperatures during the ice ages, and the mammoth is believed to be one of the ancestors of the more famous woolly mammoth, which adapted to even colder climates and was known for its thick coat of fur. The exact reasons for the steppe mammoth's extinction are not fully understood, but no doubt climate change and changing vegetation patterns likely played a role as they seem to be an expiration of all these prehistoric pachyderms. Number 7. Paleoloxodon nematicus This elephant is often referred to as the Indian elephant or the Asian straight-tusked elephant and was a prehistoric species of elephant that once roamed the Indian subcontinent. The colossal creature holds the distinction of being one of the largest land mammals to have ever existed, and it's one of the species of unknown quantities of straight-tusked elephants that are known to have existed. Anyways, these ones stood about 13 to 16 feet tall at the shoulder and weighed an estimated 20 to 24 tons, making it significantly larger than today's African elephants and even bigger and weightier than the mammoths were in size. It had, of course, long and straight tusks, which could grow up to 11 and a half feet, and this massive vegetarian lived during the Pleistocene epoch alongside other megafauna, and we know this because its fossils have been discovered in various parts of India and Pakistan. Like many other megafauna of that era, they eventually became extinct, likely due to a combination of climate change and the expansion of early human populations, which may have led to overhunting and habitat destruction, in exactly the same way that many animals are threatened with extinction in the modern world. Kind of weird, isn't it? Number 6. Probocidia Keeping you all on your toes, we now have a super general Latin word that just means all the animals that fall under the category of elephants in terms of their taxonomy. It's fascinating stuff, I know. Essentially, this term comes from the Latin word of proboscis, which essentially means trunk, as in, you know, an elephant's trunk, and there you have it. Those that are included in this category are all the ones that you've ever seen, as well as some of their extinct relatives from other eras and onwards. They've been some of the most heavy mammals to ever have existed and are believed to have weighed more than double of some sauropods. Those are dinosaurs like Diplodocus, and it is pretty wild. Number 5. Mastodon in addition to being a pretty epic heavy metal band, mastodons were prehistoric long trunk sporting creatures that were closely related to elephants. They lived all across North and Central America during the late Miocene to the Pleistocene epochs, which spanned from around 10,000 to 30,000 years ago. They were slightly smaller than mammoths and modern elephants, with adult mastodons typically standing about 8 to 10 feet tall. Now, they had stocky builds with long and curved tusks that could reach up to 13 feet in length and distinctive cone-shaped cusps on their teeth, which were adapted for grinding woody vegetation. This diet preference would likely have contributed to their eventual extinction as the climate and vegetation changed at the end of the era, and that's the problem for any of the creatures who live through a period of massive climate change. The food changes, and they don't necessarily eat whatever may be left. Unless, of course, they happen to be a cockroach. It would definitely suck to be a human with dietary restrictions that needed specific conditions, though. Number 4. Loxodonta odorora. Next up, we have yet another extinct species of elephant. And yes, it is remarkably similar to all of the other ones you've ever seen before. We're having such fun today now, aren't we? This one's been found in lovely fossilized form in several places all across Africa, and it's actually the only area of the world in which they've been found. So it's believed that they were the direct descendants of modern-day African elephants. Except that more recent searches have uncovered that these are probably actually evolved from a different but similar species, and possibly also some kind of mammoth as well. It turns out that elephant lineage is a complex matter after all. Number 3. Sumatran Elephant 
The Sumatran elephant is a critically endangered subspecies of the Asian elephant that's found exclusively on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. It's a smaller size compared to other Asian elephant subspecies, and the Sumatran elephant typically stands around 6.6 .6 to 9.8 feet tall, weighing between 4,000 to 8,800 pounds, positively dinky in comparison to some of its mates and other brethren. These elephants have a unique appearance, with a smaller and more rounded ear and a body that's covered in patches of thick and wrinkly skin. Their smaller size and distinct features are adaptations to their dense forest habitats. They mostly live in the island's lowland rainforests, where they munch on a variety of vegetation, which includes different fruits, leaves, and grasses. But this exclusive living situation is the very thing that is threatening its survival. Habitat loss from deforestation because of human greed is the number one issue they face. Agriculture and logging cause huge destruction in these ancient forests, and they destroy massive areas of habitat for many animals. They also struggle with inbreeding because they have so few numbers, and those that do live in the wild have been fragmented due to the aforementioned human destruction. Sumatran elephants are victims of poaching for their tusks and other body parts in the illegal and disgusting ivory trade. Unless huge efforts are made to preserve their home and protect the animals from harm, the elephants will likely not make it. Number 2. Mammothus meridionalis This prehistoric species of elephant, whose name I likely mispronounced, is more commonly known as the southern mammoth which was roughly around 2.5 million to 700,000 years ago. This creature was, guess what, part of the Mammothus genus, which also includes the more famous Woolly Mammoth and the Columbian Mammoth. Yes, there are many types of them. Who even knew? Southern mammoths were pretty big. The males could reach up to 13 feet tall and weighed around 10 to 12 tons, and they too had those same long and curved tusks that we're familiar with. These could grow to be over 13 feet in length. They also had lovely shaggy coats and long coarse hair, which was perfectly adapted to the changing climate of their time, and they were diverse. They could be found in many different sorts of environments, from grasslands to forests. They were also vegetarians, eating a diet of grasses and shrubs. Mmm, delicious, and fiber-rich, I'm sure. They also went extinct in a mysterious, but really not so mysterious way, as the temperatures changed and their food sources became scarce. Number 1. Garuvayar Keshavan And finally, we have another temple elephant whose name I probably mangled. This time, we're looking at one which is said to have been the most famous to have existed, but unfortunately, they're no longer on this mortal coil. This elephant was given to this temple by the royal family of India all the way back in 1922, and there it stayed until its death in 1976. The temple elephant was said to have been the tallest of elephants to ever have lived there, and there are rather a lot of contestants in that category. Perhaps the old clipboard clutchers from the Guinness Book need to be involved to verify some of these outlandish claims. Anyways, he may measured 10 and 3 quarter feet tall and was also lucky, or unlucky enough, to have departed this life on a super auspicious day for religious sorts in this place. In fact, elephants still mourn his death to this day, at least the temples do, because they make their elephants line up to pay their respects. Well that's all from the extremely elephanty list today. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.